My true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Hey, neighbor. Happy Halloween. I mean, happy holidays. Huh, I know. It's been such a weird year. I can't believe it's already December 25th. What have you been up to? Hmm, not much. Laying low. Took the week off work. Oh my gosh, me too. My boss said that I have too much vacation that I had to use it or lose it, so I decided to take off all the 12 days of Christmas. Nice. You know, I think they should just ditch Christmas and have 12 days of Halloween. I prefer spooky. Better parties, for sure. Christmas, I can take it or leave it. What? Oh, Punch, you're such a Scrooge. Whatever. So... What are you doing on your time off? Mm, I don't know, PlayStation? Maybe cruise around on my bike if it isn't too rainy? Yeah, ha, huh, hey. So, speaking of bikes, you want to bomb down to Gasworks Park? I'm meeting George there. Nah, what are you guys doing at Gasworks? It's freezing. George and I are crazy about baseball, you know, on the PlayStation. We're really into it, and we got each other baseball gloves for Christmas. So we're gonna go down there and throw the ball around. You know, get outside, nature, fresh air. You should join us. Nah, I'm feeling tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Weird dreams. Really? I read that eating greasy foods can disturb your sleep and give you nightmares. Yeah? Well, maybe that's why. Do you remember my sister, Carol? She sent me a giant box of cheese curds for Christmas. I was eating them all day yesterday, and I still have half a box left. They're so squeaky and delicious, but maybe they're giving me nightmares. Wait, is that the sister who visited a couple of years ago? We ended up seeing that band where all the members were dressed like bananas. What were they playing? Kazoos? No, harmonicas, and one was dressed like an orange, remember? Yeah, that's right. The knock-knock jokes. Yeah, so I should tell you about this dream I had last night. So I was at that Burmese restaurant at the bottom of the hill. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. I love their pork stew. I used to stop in there every week after water polo. Yeah, well, in my dream, I went in there and the place was packed. Every table was full of people and they were all chowing down. It was so warm and steamy. The only table that was free was that big one that they have in the middle of the room. So the waitress sent me down there. I order. He brings me a giant bowl of that pork stew. I'm about to start eating, and in walks this pig. The pig looks around. He sees me. He starts running towards me, 1980s professional wrestling style. He goes all macho man Randy Savage and does a flying elbow drop onto my table. The soup spills. The table breaks. Everything goes everywhere. And I look down, and I realize at that moment that what I do next will determine the fate of Christmas for everyone in the world forever. No way. Holy cow. What happened? Well, I woke up. You definitely need to lay off the cheese curds, Jasper. So I have to go meet George. But if we are both on vacation, we should skate over to the zoo. Hey, one question. The pig in your dream? Was he wearing anything? Yeah, he was actually wearing a Santa hat. Wow. Weird. Okay, so next time I see you, remind me to tell you about the pig I ran into last night. Wait, in a dream? No, in real life, Jasper. Wait, was the pig wearing a Santa hat? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.